Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time we've got some brand new Transformers Generations Earthrise reveals. We've got Battlemasters, Micromasters, Deluxes, and Voyagers. And this is a continuation of what we've seen previously with the Scorponok, the RC, the Fast Track, and the Skylinks. We are going to start with the smallest thing and I'm going to say that it seems like Fast Track will be able to connect with the bases which seems appropriate, and you can combine that, of course, with the Scorpnox set, so that's awesome. But we're going to start off with the Double Crosser. Now, Double Crosser is a brand new character, and it will transform into a ramp, much like the previous one. And also, like the previous one, it will have this blast effect, which is more of a ricochet explosion thing. And I don't know why they make him so small. I guess it's it, it kind of makes sense. I mean, it's not like it's really firing anything, but I don't know. They just feel like they cheaped out on these. Uh, but still pretty cool. You get four connection points on this ramp, and uh, it just adds more to uh, the other figures. You can also use it as a shield, so that's pretty cool. And the robot mode is very nice in the fact that it's something different with the two heads. I mean, you can make the comparison with Wreck and Ruin. You could probably repaint this into Wreck and Ruin. I, I think it's a pretty cool idea, um, but there's not much else that I could really say about it. You know, it's kind of a generic robot, but I think as far as this is concerned, not bad. You can see the peg on the chest, so yes, you can uh, connect it to the larger robots. Let's go ahead and move on to the MicroMasters. We've got the Racetrack Patrol, I believe it's called. Uh, the first one we've got is... Let's see, this is Groundhog, I have to remember the names. And this is pretty cool, so it transforms into something that kind of looks like a Pontiac funny car something. I don't know, I'm not an expert when it comes to cars, but it's got a little red flame paint application on the top. I believe that the original toy was more of a purple compared to this. This is more of a blue, but not bad. I even like the little pipes at the side there. You know, pretty basic for a MicroMaster. In robot mode, again, pretty basic, you know, simple transformation, not much to say, kind of similar to that of the uh, Hyperdrive and not the Swindler, but the one that came with that, Road Handler, I believe his name. So, yeah, not much to say here, kind of reminds me more of the Hyperdrive figure. And then we've also got Groundhog, which I'm really into, I love that alt mode as something different, uh, nice kind of pinkish purplish color to it. Uh, I, I just, I really like it. That large spoiler at the front, but that clunky kind of, you know, style going to it. It kind of reminds me of the uh, alt mode for, I think it was Sandstorm that had this. But overall, really cool and something different, so I like it. And then the robot mode looks pretty cool too. Uh, again, it seems to have the more basic transformation, but you also get the wheels on the front of the legs, which I just... I don't know why I find that amusing. Yes, it's kibble that kind of sticks out, but it's something different at the very least. Uh, the colors with the blue and the pink, I think that works well. The yellow face looks wonderful. I love the head sculpt on this one. So yeah, very cool. And then moving right along, we also have the Astro Patrol. I believe this one, if I'm not mistaken, is Blastmaster. And uh, he looks pretty cool in the robot mode. We're going to start off with the robot mode, so there's a reason for that. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like it. I think the wings are a little too big, and his lower legs definitely look chunky and round. But uh, I think overall it does the job, you know, pretty well. It's got a red helmet and blue on the chest. Yeah, I, you know, it's basic Battlemaster, or Micromaster, I should say, but I think it works. And then the other one was originally Phaser, but I think it's... Fuser? It's so hard for me not to say Fusor like in Beast Wars. Uh, but this one actually comes with a couple of guns this time around, so that's pretty cool. Red on the chest, and it's got blue underwear this time around, if you like that. Uh, the head sculpt is a little weird, I'm not sure what's going on with the mouth. But I think that overall, you know, it works. And much like uh, the, I think it was Direct Hit and Power Punch, from the Siege line, this will also combine. And it's also got that NASA logo, which apparently the Skylinks also has. I think that the shuttle mode looks really good. I like the consistent, you know, design. You know, it's a very basic color scheme, of course, but I think that this really works. It will go super well with the Skylinks. You have that big shuttle, and then you have the little one. I think that's gonna be awesome. 
So I really do want the Skylinks with this. I think that the, the team will work pretty good. But um, yeah, I like it. And then we also have another image of the Ironworks figure in a new configuration. So you can try that if you want. I think that I really want to. I think this looks pretty good. Uh, and I didn't even know that the crane hook thing at the front detaches from the arm. So pretty cool. Moving right along, we also have some deluxe class figures. This is smoke screen. So anyone who did not get the select smoke screen, this is your opportunity to get one. So this is going to be more of an earth style smoke screen compared to the original, which was a Cybertronian type of Corvette thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm kind of annoyed that it's not a G2 smoke screen. I would have preferred that, honestly. But this looks pretty good for those who really want a G1 style smoke screen. I know that some people weren't into the car mode for, um, you know, that mold, you know, the car guys, Prowl, Blue Streak, smoke screen. Um, and I think the weapons look pretty good this time around. I much prefer the original weapons, but, you know, these are fine. As far as the alt mode is concerned, you know, it's very smooth. You got that large bumper at the front. I'm curious if this will become Prowl and Blue Streak. I imagine it will. Uh, you got the number 80 on the side. And, you know, the color scheme is very basic, but... Or, I shouldn't say it's very basic. It's very colorful is what I meant to say. I apologize for that. But, uh, you know, I think it works. I think it stands out. So, very cool. And then his robot mode looks very nice this time around. One of my problems that I had with Smokescreen was there was too much black in the robot mode. So the colors of blue and red just didn't really stand out. But in this time, it really does. You get a lot more of that blue in the red and the lower legs. You even get more of that white. So very cool. You know, the head sculpt is pretty much similar to that of the original Smokescreen. And I think it works overall, it's just I'm not sure if I need it. I even like the curve on the door wings, I think that's pretty cool. But I have the select smoke screen. I don't know if I need this, but it's there, it looks decent. And then moving right along, we also have Airwave, which I thought was going to be in the recent Earthrise trailer because there was a red base that was seen in the CGI, but apparently it was not. This is more closer to the actual base itself. And I think that in base mode, it looks pretty good. I like that long ramp on the side there. And of course that communications tower on the side. Uh, I even like the little treads at the bottom there. Like this is actually a mobile base. So I think overall it's pretty cool. You know, it's just one long track. Obviously you can configure it in different ways. And they even have that with the Astro, or not Astro Patrol, the Racetrack Patrol. You get a different version of it, a more wider base, and I think that looks pretty good too. Um, so yeah, different configurations. You can see the Decepticon logos, so number 32, and different clip ports, including on the top there of that communications or tower thing or building, whatever you want to call it. And I think it looks pretty decent. In robot mode, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It reminds me of like a video game drone from let's say Transformers Armada or something like that. Actually, it really does look like something from the Armada and Energon stuff. I love the head and how flat it is. I love the chest and how wide it is. Sea spray, that's what it reminds me of. It was driving me nuts what this guy reminded me of. It reminds me of if the Hunt for the Septicon Sea Spray got a Generations version. You got a cannon that plugs over the hand. You've got a couple of shields. And I think that overall, continuing off from what Ironworks is, this is a very cool idea and very cool design. I love the color scheme, the white, the blue, the orange, it stands out. So very cool. And then last but not least is the Earth Style Megatron, which is probably one of the most pointless figures in this, but I guess it's to release alongside with the Optimus Prime that's already out. Yeah, the tech mode, it looks pretty good. I love how the sides are more consistent. They're actually attached. It's not like an H tank this time around, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the tank barrel is fine, and I think that the tank mode looks a lot better than that Siege one. But is it enough to warrant the purchase? Is it enough to really say, hey, that's definitely needed? 
I wish it came in green though. Actually, it would be cool if they made the purple repaint or even the yellow bludgeon repaint. That'd be awesome. But anyways, as it stands, yeah, it looks fine. But then you get to the robot mode and it really is apparent that there's really no point in re releasing a Voyager Megatron again except to release alongside the Optimus Prime. The sword doesn't look good to me. I don't like it. It's got so much kibble against it. You know, you got the turret on the side that's apparently attached to it. That does not look good to me. It really doesn't. The fusion cannon doesn't even look that interesting. It looks like a kind of watered down version of the original cannon. I love the head sculpt on this. I think that looks really good. Uh, the chest doesn't have any red in it except for on the shoulders. And I don't know how I feel about it. Um, it. It's more simplified in a lot of the details, and I understand why they had to do that. And hopefully it doesn't have the similar problem with the neck flap thing moving around. Otherwise, I just don't care about it. It's the same thing that we pretty much already have. Maybe if it was in G2 colors, I'd be interested in it. Maybe if it was in purple or yellow or green, that would have been nice. But it's just more of the same, and I was kind of worried that we get that, and it seems like we got that. So, not into it. I really don't care. If people are into it, that's fine, but we have Siege. I, I don't really have a reason to buy it. So, with that out of the way, what do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads, and I will see you guys next time.